we are back at the concrete monolith that is concrete waves and this morning I'm going to be reminding myself of the joy of learning to carve turn backside and front side by trying it fakey. Okay, the carving turn. Let's see what we're aiming for. Gonna come up, approach the wall, take a little bit of a knee bend, start to initiate the turn by either pressing on the toe or the heels, bend the knees down, look with the head and keep the shoulder into the turn. Don't let that shoulder turn out. Keep all four wheels on the concrete. This is not a kick turn, it's a carving turn. Keep coming round turn 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 when you get to the top of the turn bend the knees right into the chest that gives you somewhere to pump from when you come back out of the carving turn and ride away there's two different ways to do the carving turn with your back to the transition so that's the back side that's the easiest one to start with for most people and then the front side turn that's when your front is facing the transition that means your back is sort of falling backwards into the danger area a lot of people find the front side carving turn the trickiest i come from a surfing background and the thing that attracted me to skateboarding was watching dogtown and z boys video which highlighted the early surf derivative style of skateboarding i thought oh my goodness i can have my cake and eat it i can go and get that surf feeling on the concrete or on the wood at any point the first thing I worked on therefore was this carving turn which I also do in surfboarding. I thought that feels the same. So I'm pretty far down the line with carving turns, natural footed, pointless doing a video on that. However, to get the empathy levels up for starting to carve, I've decided to try it fakey, which is to go in with the wrong foot facing forwards, fakey carving turns, try them backside fakey, and also try them front side fakie. I'm hoping that this will then remind me of all the top tips I learned as I learned the normal carving turn with a natural foot. I think my goal today is if I can get round a few front side fakie carving turns in the pool, and if I can get the back side carving turn fakie up to the tiles, I'll be super pleased. I'm getting ready to fall off a whole lot. Let's see how we get on. Okay, that's the backside turn fakie. Whew, feels a little odd, no style at all. I kept my shoulder in though, and that's what helped me go around the turn. I also looked right into the center of the turn, tried to keep my knees bent. I'm now gonna to start to try to work it further up the wall by pumping, bending my knees at the top, and keeping my head in the turn, shoulder in the turn. <laughs> feels a bit tricky the problem there was that I didn't bend my knees at the top of the turn and that slowed me down so when I came back down I had to quickly make an adjustment so I didn't spin out just got to pump a little harder down the waterfall and pump at the bottom of the ramp see if I can get more speed I'm trying to hit those tiles <laughs> As I got to the top of the turn, I bent my knees in and I could feel the whole thing working as I came back out. Still no style and I need to get higher to get those tiles. Whew, got the tiles that time. Only problem is I didn't bend my knees enough and I fell off. The bail's quite easy though, just a quick jump off and knee slide down the transition. higher I'm remembering how exciting it was learning this maneuver in the natural stance feels like you're gonna come a cropper at any point I'm finding I need to put 
more weight on my new back foot, which is obviously my front foot normally, weight that down and that seems to help the turn come round. Woohoo, clean on for dear life there. Just about made the tile. Wasn't a very clean turn though, I wanna get it cleaner than that. The thing I changed to get up on the tile is that I bent my knees to pump down the waterfall and also gave it a little pump up when I went into the transition. When I got to the top of the turn, I tried to bend my knees as much as possible and every inch helps when trying to get those tiles. Let's go again. I'm just starting to pause at the top now. So what I need to do is to start anticipating my head and shoulders in front of the turn over the new front foot. If you're finding with your calves that you pause at the top, you might just need to anticipate head and shoulders and then carve the legs and the body around. It's all coming flooding back to me now, those natural calves. Let's see if I can get it fakie. Yeah, that one felt better. Bit of a swish of the legs. I'm gonna keep going, see if I can get something really definitive, a good noise on the tiles. Then I'm gonna to switch to my arch nemesis, the front side. Whew. I think I might have hit the coping with the wheels that time. Have to check back, but that was pretty exciting. Crikey, I think I got a little bit of truck on the coping that time. Just slowed me down, hung up, and got down into it. Okay, I got the wheels on the coping and a little tiny grind. I think that's enough for the backside. I'm gonna start work on the front side. Wish me luck. Okay, first couple of goes. My goodness, that's a great reminder of how scary it is to do a front side turn and how hard it is to learn can't even get round. I think just getting round would be a triumph. Forget the tiles. I'm needing to widen my arc. I'm also needing to bend my knees and keep my shoulder tucked into the turn and look with my head. Because I'm clinging on for dear life, I'm ignoring all my tips. I just need to calm down, remember to keep my shoulder in, my knees bent, look round the turn, see if I can make it round one. <laughs> made it round one. No style, no finesse. The things I changed were I bent my knees right down and I made sure I kept my weight on the new back foot, which is my usual front foot. Keep the weight on that feels really unnatural. That way you can carve it round and ride it out, made it back up to the shallow end almost. I took a wider line as well, as wide as possible to start with. I can start bringing that line in when I start to feel more comfortable with these. I can start putting some of the tips in place now. Pumping up the transition, bending my knees at the top of the arc, looking with the head, keeping the shoulder in, pumping the legs and the feet through on a fixed head. Hopefully getting that arc a little bit tighter each time, see how high I can get. I remember happening a lot when I learnt this natural footed. Not enough speed to make the arc, so halfway through, just fall backwards, no centrifugal force. The bail is quite easy though, just pivot round like a cat and knee slide if you're wearing pads. If not, you can probably run out of that one. Okay, that's 
a great illustration of the worst thing that can happen on the front side carb. Not enough speed whilst trying to go too high. You just stop halfway up and fall straight to the bottom on your hip. Oh, I don't reckon I've got too many of those left in me. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that front side progress. Might not get the tile this time, but I remember that being the case when I tried this natural footed. It took ages to creep my way up and get up to the tile and to try and do the coping on a bigger transition. I'm probably expecting a little bit too much to get to the tile. To be honest, I'm amazed I even got round. So now I'm gonna try and stitch it together. I wanna try and do two backside turns in the deep. That means I'm gonna have to do some sort of front side or backside turn in the shallow, which means I'm gonna have to try and generate enough speed out of that fakey carve to come back around and do two laps. The key tip here is to bend the knee so I got somewhere to pump from down waterfalls, up and down transitions, see if I can maintain that speed. felt pretty good but you're never happy. I want to try and now get the tiles in the shallow end as well as the tiles in the deep end. That's going to mean more pump, more commitment and more speed. Okay almost, just need to tighten the arc of my turn there, see if I can make it round. laps that time nearly got the tiles in the shallow I think I just need to pump slightly harder and I've got okay that's it for the fakey carving turns let's run through some of the key points okay so coming up to the transition bend your knee slightly do a little pump by pushing you sort of weight up the ramp. As you start to initiate the turn, keep the shoulder tucked in and the head looking to the center of the turn. Bend the knees when you get to the top of the turn, keep turning round, and then as you come out, if you can pump the legs away, that'll give you speed coming out. The backside turn went quite well. That front side turn was tricky. Whew. I look forward to doing more of these, tying them into a run. Anyway, I hope that was useful if you're learning to carve regular, or if you fancy giving the carving turn fakey a go. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate. <laughs>